Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute countdown to Christmas sign. It's so simple to make, you do not want to miss out. So I'm starting in Design Space and I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go up to My Projects and I'm going to find the one I'm going to use. And it's going to be this one. And then I'm going to customize it. So I am going to first start by selecting all and I'm going to change the size and the width since I already know the size and the width of my board that I'm using. So I'm going to change it to eight and a half by 22. So here it is. I'm going to make my screen a little bit smaller that we can see this. And um, I'm going to change the color a bit. Um, I'm going to ungroup it and then I'm going to click out and change the color manually so that it's already ungrouped I'm gonna click on the Mary part and I'm gonna change it to red so I'm gonna go up here to the little black box I'm gonna put red then I want to change Christmas and I want to change that to green so with that part highlighted I'm gonna go back to the box and find a green and it doesn't have to match the color of your vinyl it's just what color it's gonna print out I want to do the same with the little star here so I'm gonna change it yellow And then I'll do the same with the ornament. And I think I'll change it to yellow as well. So I changed all the colors that I wanted to, but there's also one, one thing down here. I think I'm going to change the number 25 if it will let me. So I have it selected and I'm going to ungroup it. I want to change 25 to maybe a red color. I was either thinking red or green. This color to red. And I'm using the same color up here so that it's the same. If I was to pick this by accident, it would cut it out separately. So there. As I'm going to take this 25 since I already attached it, and it's going to bring it up here for me, and I'm going to hide it. And it's going to make this process much easier. So with it hidden, I'm going to go ahead and select 1 through 24, and I'm going to manually attach that. So that means that it'll cut these numbers out as you see them it's not going to move it so i'm going to bring back the number 25 so i'm going to find it on the side up here and then it puts it back so that will cut out separately so that will cut out with your mary but it's as simple as that so i'm going to um, make this and i'll show you how it looks so we'll cut all the numbers out like you see them, just like this. You don't have to reorder or try to um, put them in uh, a specific specific spot. So it cuts out all the numbers, and then it's going to cut out the Mary and then the 25. But just I'm going to move this under here to save a little bit of vinyl because I only need the Mary and then 25 separate. Then I'm going to check on this one quick, and here we go. Here's a different one. So I'm just going to move this one over just a little bit. But I like how it looks, so I'm going to click on the first one and make sure that this one... Um, cuts first. So I'm going to put my black vinyl on my mat and then I'm going to go ahead and throw it through the Cricut and cut it out and then I will weed it out and I will show you the next part. Alright, so I have everything cut out and it turned out really great. So here's the Christmas and the Mary and the 25 and then the ornaments and then the numbers. I also have some transfer tape here and then here is my board all finished. It's all painted on both sides. And it's nicely sanded, so the vinyl should stick to it really well. So let's get started. So I think I'm going to start maybe to the, at the top and work my way down. So I'm going to take this 25 off quick. If you remember, I cut this all together, so it would be easier and save on some uh, vinyl. So I just have some transfer tape, and I'm just going to take the little 25 off of here first. So I'm just going to carefully put it on here. Just rub it with my finger quickly and then pull it up and leave the rest on there. Then I'm going to take my numbers and then I'm going to carefully put it where it belongs. There. Then again, just use my fingers and scrape it on just for this one part. There. So that part is finished. So the next part I want to do is um, start with the Mary on top and then the Christmas. I think I like it right there. So I'm just going to go ahead 
and do the same thing with the transfer tape. Just take the transfer tape off. Put it over the Mary. And then this time I'm gonna use my scraper and make sure I get everything up. And then I like to do things backwards. So I flip it upside down and then I go from that way. This helps me see if I'm missing anything. So before I start, I think I'm gonna maybe just do the next one, the Christmas one. Again, I like to flip it over and work from the back side. And then just peel it back. There, whoops, but I did get stuck on this one. Carefully. Okay, so with them both done, I'm just gonna gently put it here. And hopefully it won't stick. And then I'm gonna take the Christmas and kind of line it up where I wanna go. So maybe roughly there. So I'm gonna peel this one up and then start this one in the middle. That's where these grid lines come in. And I can kind of gauge on the sides. I like it there, so then take your scraper again. And then you can peel it off. Just nice and slowly, making sure you leave it all on. And then work with the next piece. And just kind of line it up however you want it. You want to make sure you get the edges you know, lined up well too. And lay it down. Use your scraper again. Once you think you got it on really well, you can peel it back. Whoops, if you have a little one coming off, just rub it with your finger. There. And I just like to lightly go over it and make sure every piece is stuck on there. Oops. And then I'm gonna use my same piece of transfer tape. And I'm just gonna use these two ones, but I am going to cut them apart so that it's easier. And I don't remember offhand what it looked like or where this went. So I'm just gonna use my imagination and kind of place it wherever I want. So maybe I'll put that guy there because he's a little bit bigger. And then I'll just put this guy up in the corner here. And I'm not gonna let my transfer tape fall because I don't want to peel back my letters I just put down. So just carefully peel it off. use the scraper I should have. And then the same thing with this. Peel it back. Oops, lost a star. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this already, guys. I hope you're liking it. This is a lot of fun. So, with that done, I'm gonna clean my area quick. And then the next part is to put your numbers on. So you can see I have enough room at the top. Oops. I have enough room at the top and the bottom. I like to have a little bit extra space on the bottom so you can kind of work with it. So I'm going to take another big piece of transfer tape. And then since this is a little bit bigger, I'm only gonna do a little bit at a time. So I'm just gonna take the transfer tape and then line it up with my grid. And once you have it where you want it, you can see I still have the back on this. So as I pull it, I'm going to rub the other transfer tape on so that there's no bubbles. Which just makes it a little bit easier that you get it where you want it. And then just take your scraper again. Scrape really well. All the numbers put on. Again, I always go backwards or upside down, however you want to say it, and then carefully peel back. Okay, beautiful. And then the fun part lay it down where you want them to go. And I like it here. So once you look on the edges, I look at the edges, see how much room I have on each side. And then once you've got it where you want it, again, just scrape it down. Once you get it scraped down really well, take a corner and start peeling. All 
All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. So here it is. So another thing I'm gonna show you for my, so I can tell which day it is. I bought these little wreaths from the dollar store and they came in three. And then what you're gonna wanna do is um, you can take a pin or you can use a nail, but I'm gonna use a white nail and just nail each one. 